Welcome back. While on Love 97's Issues of the Day radio talk show on Thursday, FNM Chairman Dr. Dwayne Sands also commented on the newly purchased ambulances, questioning why the Davis administration chose standard shift vehicles. Dr. Sands explains that staffing for the vehicles may be difficult because many Bahamians do not drive standard shift vehicles. Although conflicted on the decision to purchase this type of vehicle, Dr. Sands says he is sure once fully staffed with competent workers and drivers, the new ambulances will be of great benefit to the Bahamian people. With the completion of the Andre Rogers Baseball Stadium and the ongoing renovations of the Thomas A. Robinson National Track and Field Stadium, Youth Sports and Culture Minister Mario Boleg says he wants more athletes to utilize the facilities to help enhance their skills as opposed to the facilities lying empty for much of the year. Well, we definitely want to see more NBA teams, uh, professional teams, not only just uh, in, in the NBA, but also in baseball and also uh, and soccer and those because we want to utilize the facilities that we have there. They were built for that reason. And um, definitely the Sixers comes this weekend. Uh, Miami comes next week. And so uh, I have a meeting with the Miami Heats um, upon their uh, arrival to the Bahamas. And again, we want to look and see how we can continue partnership with these international uh, bodies and see how we can continue to give the Bahamas the exposure it needs and give the, the athletes who play in these various disciplines the exposure to be able to see these, these are art, professional athletes and coaches and be able to enhance their level of performance so that they can get to that next level. The baseball stadium officially opened in December of 2022 with Prime Minister Davis throwing out the first pitch at those opening ceremonies. Members of the local Veterinarian Medical Association were thrilled to hear the following bill read for the first time during the morning session of the House of Assembly on Wednesday by the Minister of Health and Wellness, Dr. Michael Darville. First reading of bills. The Chair recognizes the Honorable Member for Talbine. Morning, uh, Madam Speaker. I beg leave to introduce and have read for the first time a copy of the following. A bill for an act to make the provision for the registration and licensing of veterinarians, the registration of veterinary power professionals, the regulations uh, of the practice of veterinary medicine and related purposes. Thank you, Honorable Members. The new legislation will set new standards in the veterinarian field as there has been an increase in unlicensed operators. President of the Veterinarian Medical Association of the Bahamas, Dr. DeAndre Delancey Milford, said the legislative committee of the association will meet to discuss the bill and inform their members of the implications. Going forward, individuals operating as veterinarians will have to be properly licensed and adhere to stipulated regulations. And finally, the inaugural Bahamas Real Estate Exchange, BRX, is taking place this Saturday, September 28th, at the Goldwyn Resort. This event aims to unite key players in the real estate sector. Participants can expect to address current market realities, share insights on best practices, promote property listings, and hear from industry experts on ways to improve the functioning of the market in the Bahamas. This event is said to be an excellent opportunity for networking and a crucial platform for fostering collaboration and innovation within the Bahamian real estate market. That'll do it for your JCN Evening News. Once again, I'm Jorino Saunders. Thank you so much for joining us. This segment of the news has been brought to you by Sun Oil Limited. Thank you.